Podcast. The Guy, Shannon and Clint Podcast. And we're talking right now, just to vent it out at 7 past 3 on a Tuesday, the small things that shouldn't bother you, but oh, they just do. And this is inspired by Oscar, who was filling in for Clint last week. Because he had, honestly, one of the most psycho Facebook statuses <laughs> I have ever seen on Facebook this morning. Now, Oscar, explain to us what we you so rocked up about. I, I'm just really annoyed at everyone who's Facebook posting just so much about how they've ordered their iPhone 6 and they're just super upset about not getting it yet, how it hasn't arrived. Well, obviously, they've been waiting for it for a long time, but you you were really getting it, like you're really dumbing down how you were feeling. It. Like, can you just word for word tell us what you wrote on Facebook today? Word for word? Word for word. There word. are swear words. But I can't exactly remember. There was quite a lot of M-words in just say beep. Was weird. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> Just hey, slander. Just, just slander. Just beep yourself when, you, uh, when you've got to say the beep word. Beep out the, the N-words. I'm trying to remember it, but I think it was just... Oh my god, please, everyone effing stop. We get it. You've ordered an iPhone and it hasn't arrived. Get over yourself. Something along the lines of that. My favourite part of it was, I hope it has you two on it, and if I see you doing this status, I'm going to F you up. I don't I don't remember that. Yes, yeah, and, and that then, is why I was like, whoa, angry. And I, I, got, I got lots of likes for posting that, actually. I so, I don't remember that. So bit. what you hate, essentially, is first world problems. Yes. I don't know if it's something about Apple users or if it's like that whole, like, ah, oh, with the whole U2 album thing of a couple of weeks ago. Oh, that, that, oh that no. Was, that, was, that was worth being angry they about. They got big problems. That yeah. was worth okay, being that, angry that about. That was annoying. I have, a, um, I have a Windows phone, and my main problem is just my phone, like, working and sending texts, and i got much bigger problems when you're on Windows yeah. phone. Well, we want to know what they are. The small <laughs> things that shouldn't bother you that really do. Casey, what is it for you? When people, like, cut their toenails in public. Oh, or just in public this areas. Isn't a, this isn't a thing. When are people cutting their toenails in public? I've, I've never seen it. Okay, I saw them cutting them at a restaurant. No! no. Yeah. I've <laughs> seen someone... Like, girl sitting by herself, cutting her toenails, <laughs> waiting for someone. That is so disgusting. Casey, I actually feel you on this because I've seen someone in this office do it at their desk. Who is it? I'm not going to say who it is. No, they did name it at this desk. You know I'm not going to name okay. and shame. I'm not going to name okay. and shame. Okay, okay. Here's a small thing that it bothers me. Is when I tell you things I don't tell you who yeah, it's about. Yeah, yeah, then you, yeah. You, well, you, that's because you're a gossip, you know, which is another like, thing that annoys me. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, to the list, we're adding gossiping, and if, I, am, I am a gossip. What I've would yours be? One, a big one. Um, when people Instagram on Twitter. That annoys me so much. Why? It's like you don't have Facebook on Bebo. Well, no one uses Bebo. No, okay. Okay, if you've got a, an Instagram account, do it on Instagram. Don't link your Instagram to your Twitter to try and get more followers or something like that. The annoying thing that I find about... click through. The annoying thing I find about Instagram is when people, mainly celebrities, like Nicki Minaj the other day, she goes, check out my sweet hat. You can only see a quarter of the hat and it's basically <laughs> just a close-up of her boobs. <laughs> and Kylie yeah. Jenner does it as well. Yeah, She'll be like, yeah. oh, such an amazing sunny day. Can't see the sunny, d- <laughs> sunny day, Kylie, because you've just posted a bikini yeah. pic and you're 17. Yeah. It's creepy. Hey, Kylie. I just want to see a picture of a sunny day. Thank you very much. Yeah, gosh. <laughs> Larissa, what is it for you? When I'm a courier driver, so when people double park, um, or when I double park and they get all angry at me because... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Day, and it's like... And it's like, well, where else am I supposed to park to get these parcels into the street? Well, like, especially if you've got to carry something that's like 20 kgs. Larissa, your first complaint was when people double park, and then well, you're people, sick... No, when people yeah, complain double- about her... Yeah, but they also, or they double park in the double parking in my double parking spot. Oh, <laughs> gosh. What they, a hypocrite. They are so annoying. Uh, Angela, Gold. what is it for you? Well, um, my sister has the best feet in our family. Mm-hmm. And the thing that annoys me the most is that her toes look like fingers. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. <laughs> Nobody, Common problem. So she, toes that look like fingers. Nobody wants to deal with old well, finger toe. She can pick stuff up now. She can pick stuff up with her toes. Like, she doesn't have to bend over. All right, all right. Hey, I, hey. I, I think you should be more concerned with the fact your sister's a freak, Angela. <laughs> Save your family problems for somewhere else, okay? This is not the time and place. Amy on 0800 The Edge, what's a small thing <laughs> that shouldn't bother you, but it does? When people have bad eyebrows. Oh, 
Don't look at mine, girl. That's why I've got a fringe back. So nobody sees <laughs> what's going on I'm literally hiding yet. her eyebrows right now. I'm getting a monobrow going on. I don't know if that's good or bad. No, that's that's bad. Fix your eyebrow game. Yeah, fix your eyebrow game. And finally, <laughs> Hannah, what is it for you? Um, not getting enough chips in a chip packet like the Grand Wave packet. <laughs> It's like it's like they used to in the nineties have an adult person stuff the bags, and then the early two thousands they got a teenager stuff the bags, and now it's like they've got a freaking baby stuffing the chip bag, and there's like nothing in there. Okay, I got a bigger problem with these people that are stuffing the bags <laughs> via their hands. Like, get some gloves or something. Well, oh, maybe it's the robots. Maybe the robots have got small hands and they're stuffing the chip Tiny bag. Tiny robot hands. Uh, that's one thing that definitely peeves me off. Okay, well everybody take a deep, deep breath in. <sighs> We feel better about things now, but you may have to take another deep breath soon because Guy reckons that he's got a new nickname. I got a new nickname, guys. You have got to hear what it is. It's going it is, viral. It is the dumbest name I've it's ever catching heard. On. The Guy, Sharon, and Clint podcast. Great news, New Zealand. Well, what's the great news? That Clint's a, on a ro- uh, oh, right. I've That's, made up a new. No, I've made up a new uh, nickname for myself. You're supposed nicknames. to get given a nickname. You're not supposed to just make up your own nickname. I've had a few nicknames over the over the years. Uh, Pretty boy guy, G dog, oh G God. money. I call Most you G. The, I call you G dub. G dub. Uh, yeah, just uh, generally just uh, fly boy guy. That sort of thing. Oh, no, no one calls you fly okay. boy guy. How cool is a cu- cucumber? Right. Pretty Very cool. Right. Have you ever felt a cucumber? It is chilly. I felt right? a cucumber last night. So I'm not the wait. That was weird. <laughs> I made a salad, you dirty. <laughs> you're so dirty. Okay, I, okay, okay. I made a salad. Okay, you ever feel like when you were making your salad and you're feeling your cucumber? Yeah. <laughs> How cold was that cucumber? It was cool. That's, that's, it, it that's wasn't, where the expression comes from. Yeah. Cool as a cucumber. Cool as right? a cucumber, yeah. And how would you describe me? One word Asperger's. Cool. Oh, right. Cool. <laughs> cool as a cucumber. That's why from now on, ladies and gentlemen, I am going by the name. Coolcumber. It's my new name. It's going to be big. I've even made up imaging to uh, to headline the show with. Coolcumber, Sheridan Clint. There is on the edge. Nothing. No one is going to listen to our show if if our, if our thing is Coolcumber, Sheridan and Clint. I am so cool. I am now the Coolcumber, as cool as a Coolcumber. Coolcumber, Sheridan Clint. <laughs> I, do, I honestly do not see this going down. Do you think if we rang our boss Leon and said to him, "Hey, Leon, do you mind if we change the name to Cool Cumber Sharon and Clint?" That hit me down with this it. This is a, it's a real pain for me because I'm actually going to Leon right now and having to get my contract, my job contract changed. So Ooh. it refers to me as Cool Cumber and all the Guy Williams, the artist currently known as Cucumber, Cool Cumber, Cool Cumber, Cool Cumber. It's taken off. I've got to get my. It's a real. It's actually a real logistical nightmare. I've got to get my driver's license changed, my passport. It's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> It's worth it. Do you know what? I want to see you follow through, this, through with this. I think we should legally get your name changed to Cool Cumber. <laughs> yeah, I'm keen. I'm keen. Re- get that on record. Get that on record. We're gonna. That's what we'll do. We'll get it legally changed to Cool so Cumber. So everyone out there from now on, my name is Cool Cumber. Cool Cumber, Sheridan Clint <laughs> on the edge. No, nah, it's definitely not gonna work. Guys, Sheridan and Clint podcast. I like it. He's welcome. Someone we work with and love very much. But is a bit of a bogan, let's be honest. <laughs> the wonderful, the amazing Joel. Woo! There it is, Joel. Thanks for coming in. We want to start a new segment we like to call the Joel Hole. Joel, Joel, Joel. Oh, oh, thanks, Guy. Thanks, Sharon. This thanks, is where Danny. we go into your dumb mind to it's hear not your dumb stupid mind. opinions. It's, it's not a stupid mind. Because we mean. want your five cents on everything. And I just want to rattle off five questions real quick okay. and just hear what you have to think about them. Oh, that's right. My first question is, my first question is yep. why did the All Blacks lose on the weekend? I don't really like rugby. You know, what do you mean you don't like rugby? No, 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 you're the most no, bogan guy I know. Are you from, are you from West Auckland? No. Where are you from? I'm from England. <laughs> you're from England, mate. You're from Toronto or something. You're yeah. from Hamilton. I went, I, I went to school in Hamilton. Yeah, that's correct. But I am actually from uh, England. Second question. Why do you think about Hamilton being the fastest growing city in New Zealand? I'm not surprised. Why not? 
because of all the Somali immigrants. No, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what? What do you mean? The Somali? The tell, look, I'm very my, interested. Well, my mum's a teacher down there. She says there's been a lot of um, Somali immigrants. Yeah, but not like when you go to I didn't say Hamilton. There was wrong. I didn't say there was anything wrong with no, it. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't at all. You didn't at all. We're just shocked by your unusual an- answer. And welcome, if you are a Somali immigrant, welcome to our beautiful country. And we're really glad to have you, especially in Hamilton. I don't know why you chose that as your first destination. <laughs> I don't think they get much choice. You could go to Nelson, my own down beautiful place. <laughs> 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 Where are these immigrants? Tell me more about these immigrants. Oh, that's no, awesome. Are they pirates? No, I don't think they're pirates, but I've heard that they're, they're because they have like to have like gangs also, that they're sort of getting into a lot of fisticuffs with some of the ethnic gangs that are down there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the, in the region of Fairfield. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I, when I go to Hamilton, though, I don't see a lot of Somali... I don't think that's the reason why it's the fastest growing, because the Somalian pirates are having a war. But anyway, thank you for that opinion anyway. Okay. Here's my question. What do you think of the um, Auckland Power Cut? in Rimu era. I don't live in Rimu era, so I don't really care. <laughs> so screw him, right? Yeah. Screw the rich prick. The thing that concerns me is did ma- a lot of them manage to get to work because all their cars would be stuck inside their electric door <laughs> garages. <laughs> Rich guys out with your electric garages. Are you glad to have me back? Be honest about this. Yeah. Be honest, because I know me and you, we have our brushings <laughs> from time to time. Are you glad to have me back at work? Of course, Guy. It wouldn't be the same if uh, I didn't have someone to tell me that I walked like an old man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the amazing Joel, and that was the Joel Hole. Joel, you're awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Joel. Thank you. Look out for the pirates. He's just, just leaving. See you later, mate. <laughs> Guy Sharon and Clint podcast. Sharon was showing me an awesome, I hate when people say viral video, but like one of those internet vi- they're, they're good anyway. There's a reason why things go viral. Kangaroo fights. If you haven't seen that today, check that out because it's pretty amazing. Um, and what was more amazing is when we're watching kangaroo fights, Sharon uh, disclosed a little bit of personal information that sometimes her and her husband, the lovely Bryce, like to have what she calls giraffe fights. Oh, if anyone is, this is, it's not weird. Don't act like it's normal. It it's is not, weird. Well, it's not weird. It's like if you have ever YouTubed, and if you haven't, do it tonight. <laughs> giraffe fights. Yeah. Basically, the giraffes just smash each other with their necks. Like yeah. they just stand next to each other and they're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and they just fully lay into each other and they're like slapping around and it's so good and so um, yeah. I don't know how it happened Bryce and I just got obsessed with watching giraffe fights on YouTube <laughs> and we started having our own giraffe fights and we do it in the kitchen and the 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 rules are you have to have your hands locked by your side and you're only allowed to use your head and basically you've got to force the other person to the ground with your head that is messed up no nah, it's real fun <laughs> Giraffe fights, completely normal thing to do. No, it's not. There's all these weird things that people do when they're in a relationship. It's just the two of them and there's no one else to talk to. Someone texted in, when we are in the shower together, we rub our butts together and shout out moon landing. (laughs) Do you know what my sister did? She's in London, so I can tell the story. She had an argument with her husband that farts smell more in the shower and so they had a shower together and tested the theory. They farted in the shower. So messed up. Sorry, Jocelyn. We're going to talk more about you this next. Yeah, the sister. Yeah, well, she's in London. What's she going to do about it? None of her friends <laughs> Facebook her. <laughs> Jamie, what's the weird thing Hello. you do with your partner? We, well, I kind of just whenever. Usually, when she's angry, but whenever I'm feeling bored, I'll kind of just sit on her, or lay on her, so she can't get up and just say I'm wrong. I usually end in arguments with her yelling at me, but I love <laughs> that. That is awesome, Jamie. Thanks for your call. Here we and go. I'm going to head home and do the giraffe fights, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> YouTube it, it's awesome. It's taking off. Stacey, what's the weird thing you do with your partner? Well, we don't do it on a regular occasion, but we tried to crack eggs between our butt cheeks <laughs> one night <laughs> after a couple of wines. Did, did either of you manage to do that? No, it's honestly so hard, and I've got like a muscly <laughs> bum, and it's really hard to do. Stacey, so many questions. First question, how, whose idea was it? How did it come up? Well, it was my idea because I'd been listening yeah, to The Rock earlier in the day and had heard them try and do it on air. Beer bums? Or or pretty, pretty much all I heard then, Stacey, was that it was your idea because you're a freaky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No? Maybe. Wait, then we're going to hook you up with a prize anyway. We'll see you along to the movies. Uh, someone texted in to say, um, I used to play a game with the ex called Toasts. What's Toasts? The competition was you both went under the covers in bed in the morning, then fart. The first one oh! to put their heads out of the covers has to go <laughs> and make toast. I love that. That is amazing. We'll finish up on you, Richard. What is the weird thing you and your partner do? Uh, hello, mate. 
Um, back in South Africa, we have a, um, not anymore, but there was a tradition where um, before you were to engage in a relationship, you would have to go out and find a gerbil somewhere, or you could come back to your partner, you must skin the gerbil and wear it to say hat. <laughs> yeah, Richard, while you, while you, Richard yes? shut up, mate. <laughs> Honestly, you rang up yesterday pretending to be Asian, and today you're I'm, South African. I'm, I've never called the edge before. I'm you have so, <laughs> mate, we've got I'm, caller ID, Richard. Piss off, I'm Richard. Richard, I can't wait. you're the man. I can't wait to hear what I'm accent never, you've got tomorrow, <laughs> babes. We appreciate Here's an amazing one from the text machine. <laughs> This could be too gross. This too be, could be too gross to finish on, but it'll be one of those. Just play something after this or just get out of oh this. Oh, God. Okay. Are we, you sure? This is pretty gross. Okay. okay. We pee together. Oh! We both sit on the toilet no, normally. No, 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 Too much information. The Guy Shannon and Clint podcast. That is brand new music from One Direction. It's called Steal My Girl. We want to dedicate that to Nathan, who's filling in for Chang this week. One Direction is his favourite band. I feel like you're being sarcastic. No, you should have seen him while that song was on. He was singing out there, girl. So good. He's anyway, more than vomiting. That was a great song. No, less, less, less Nathan chat. More of the good time <laughs> chat, y'all. It's back. You know what time it is. You're about to get uber factored in the face. Oh, no, she did it. Oh, yes, she did. Nathan. You might not have heard Uber Facts before. Basically, the way it works is Sharon goes on the internet to the world's worst Twitter account called Uber Facts and stuff like that and gets what she thinks is knowledge and then makes the whole world stupid, eh? Don't, you go, don't, don't even think about going and selling Uber Facts like it's a not a real thing. <laughs> Everything that happens in Uber Facts is a real thing. It's and everyone is about to get schooled and Uber Facted in the goddamn face. We're going to get a lawsuit. So let's get amongst it, okay? First up, guys, Killer yeah. Whales. Okay. Run saw Free Willy. Yeah. They're pretty good. Yeah. Now imagine Free Willy doing this. Killer whales kill sharks by torpedoing up into the shark's stomach. Like, right into its stomach from underneath the shark. Makes the shark explode everywhere. So no. if you were watching it, you just see this shark. The shark's like swimming along. He's like, having a pretty good time. Gonna go get some plankton. Oh no, that's what whales have, eh? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm what? a shark. I'm gonna go eat a surfer on Bondi. <laughs> And then the killer whale's like, no, you wait, mother. And you go, woof, torpedo, shark explosion everywhere. So they headbutt them so hard they make them explode. No, it's not a, it's not a headbutt, guy. Even for you. Listen to me, it's I'm a torpedo. I'm disappointed in you, Sharon. Well, obviously, That's... you have not seen a killer whale spinning around really fast into a shark before. <laughs> They're you're, drilling through you're their stomach. You're actually aren't. an idiot. Next up in Overfax. It was once believed by scientists that men's swimmers contained little miniature people that then grew into full-size humans. No, what scientists reckon, would believe that? I reckon it would be real because if you think about it, they could be in there and they'd definitely be wearing like little hard hats and overalls because they're like, we've got a job to do, guys. We've got to get into that womb and just make some space. So in that way And they have spades to get through the womb as well. I wonder how... Okay. How many, like, solo sessions did it take to disprove that scientific theorem? <laughs> I'm guessing one. Well, I reckon when I get pregnant, there will definitely have been a little man in there with a spade just stabbing through, <laughs> trying to get in there. Okay. <laughs> man, <laughs> that's bad too. No, now, I'm not visualising that. Like, he looks like Bob no. the Builder and he's like, <laughs> got an eye spit. More Uber facts. Okay, next one. Positive text messages from people that you really care about yeah. can actually have a positive influence on your body and improve your mood. So if you're trying to okay. lose weight, why the hell are you going to the gym and doing clean eating hashtag paleo babs? Just get someone to send you a nice text okay. every day. Okay, while I will not argue the authenticity of that tweet, I will say that that's the most mundane fact I've ever heard in my life. Okay, mate. Positive obviously, tweets make you feel, texts make you feel good. Obviously you haven't listened to anything you've ever said. <laughs> Next one, penguins. Penguins are so cute. Did you know that penguins yeah. have one mate throughout their whole life? Yeah. And some Sometimes, if the female penguin is like really, really good and still puts out, the male what? penguin proposes to the female penguin with an actual little pebble stone. It's like, will you marry me? And she's like, oh yes, yes, of course I will. And then he gives her the pebble and she puts it in her little pouch. No, okay, the, no, you can't. How does a penguin pick up a pebble? With his flipper. And what sort of It terrible, takes a while, hey. but then you know how dedicated they are. Do you know how does it pick up pebbles at fingers? If you, it's really hard. If a penguin gave you a pebble, would you be impressed? Well, yeah, because I'd be stoked a penguin want to be my friend. And I'd be <laughs> no, like, I'll take, the penguin. I'll take your penguin. <laughs> and then we'd go on our bellies and like slide down <laughs> mountains together. Yeah. Oh my God, it'd be the best. That would be quite It'd be good. the best. Oh, I 
Okay, final Uber fact for today, guys. Yeah. The desire to lie, cheat, and steal is yeah. increased when humans get less than eight hours sleep. And I'm going to say, I back this one up 100%. I think about cheating on my husband with Richie McCaw way more when I'm tired. <laughs> I, I'm honestly, all the time, when I'm tired, I'm like, wonder what Richie's doing right now. I don't think I want to lie and cheat, and I never have slept eight hours in my life, I don't think. Yes, you have. You slept, you slept like 12 hours last time we went on a trip. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You were so full of crap. I was so honest that day. The one thing that isn't full of crap, it's your favourite oh, thing. God. You know what time it is. Thank God You're about to get uber factored in the face. Yeah, she goddamn did. The guys, Sharon and Clint podcast. Okay, here's what went down today. Okay. I um I was working on John and Ben at ten. Check out, we're back this Friday night, ten p.m. on TV three. We're doing a shoot. We're doing the uh, we're doing like a parody of um, Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. Yep. We're in white tattoo. Uh, no, not tattoos. Tutus. Tutus. Doing like a ballerina dance. Cool. And uh, I was with uh, Co person on the show, Rose Matafeo, and she decided being in a tattoo was a great opportunity. A tutu. Tutu, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a great opportunity for an Instagram picture. Now, I hate when people ask me for pictures, because I'm terrible at it. I've got, like, shaky Parkinson's hands. I take real bad, blurry photos, and people always get me to take photos. I so saw annoying. this photo on Instagram. She looked beautiful. Yeah, she looked great. But the photo you saw was the second photo I had to take. And when I say second photo, I mean second photo shoot because I take like per photo shoot, I take like 10 photos. Mm-hmm. She didn't like the first photo for the most amazing reason. Why? She didn't like the photo because she claims she looked too brown. Now, if you don't know who Rose Matafeo is, she is Samoan. <laughs> that is, she that's, is that's brown. That's ridiculous. That's racism right there towards yourself. That is so... She's, she's got... <laughs> she's beautiful. Oh, 100 The Edge. You're texting the 3343. What's the worst reason you've wanted to retake a photo or alter a photo? What's the worst worst reason? Because I don't think it can get worse I wanna, than claiming you were too... It's like if I took a photo and claimed I was too white. It's not possible. I wanted to retake a photo once because I sucked my stomach in too much and you could tell <laughs> that I had sucked it in. So I wanted to do it again and just like even it out a bit more so like I had abs and not just that I'd been like, <gasps> take the photo now. Ready. <laughs> That's the secret to a photo. You gotta suck it in yeah. the right amount. You gotta not suck too much, it in. Too, you gotta suck it in flat. Not too little as well, though. You don't wanna. You don't wanna be. You don't wanna be sticking out. Don't look like a fortune cookie. Let's go to the phones, Emily. What is the uh, reason why you had to retake a photo? I retook a selfie with my friends because my face looked lopsided. <laughs> it wasn't until I looked at the photo a bit later that I realised I had actually just tilted my head. <laughs> Face was low side because you tilted your head. That is, um, that's pretty awkward. I had a, I had to retake a selfie once because the best light in our house for selfies is in the toilet, and I realised <laughs> the toilet was in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, what is the reason you retook a photo? Oh, I had to retake a photo because I came out to yellow, eh? What? And, um, and I'm Asian. <laughs> oh, why are you being so hard on yourself, babes? Oh, well, no, it's true, eh? So I had to retake it. Did you look like... What did you look like? Would you look like... Uh, uh, what's that? Simpson's like? Not really. Banana? Uh, you look like what? Bart Simpson. I look like Bart Simpson. Hey, that's Aww. good. Bart well, there's nothing wrong with Bart Simpson. I love Bart Simpson. It's pretty He's good. He's awesome. Morgan, what is the weird reason you had to retake your photo? Um, I was taking a photo with a heavily pregnant friend of mine, <laughs> and we were looking at the photo afterwards, and I actually looked more pregnant than Aww. she did. <laughs> That and, is the worst. So, but I said out loud right beside her, oh, God, I look pregnant. <laughs> Aw. This is a- she, just, she just gave me the dirtiest look. It's so annoying when that happens, too, because sometimes you get a photo and you're like, oh, good, I'm not going to look I'm not gonna look fat in this picture because everyone's, like, yeah. around about the same size. <laughs> then you get the photo and it's like you're standing next to goddamn Miranda Kerr or something. My um, <laughs> my, my cousin once uh, wanted me to get out of a photo because they said, she said my um, my big moon elephant head was, like, ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, got it. The, I don't think anyone can top this. Brad, Brad, what is the reason you had to retake a photo? This is horrible. Oh, yeah, mate. I was at a dress-up party of friends in Wire Park and um, decided to wear some uh, women's stockings. Yeah, Uh-oh. of course. And, As uh, you do in Wire Park, of course. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't realise that uh, women's stockings, when they stretch, they actually go a little see-through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I wasn't wearing any undies. And so oh, yeah. uh, we were setting up for a photo to be taken. The t- photo was taken, and uh, a couple of days later, I seen on Facebook 
was my uh, doodle hanging around his oh, the pants there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Brad, we need to justify this, though. <laughs> When you saw it on Facebook, did you feel like Aaron Smith would have felt and you're like, yeah, that's right, there's my doodle hanging out on Facebook? Or were you more like, uh, here's an example, well, Guy, were you like Guy and like, oh. Anything bad about it, put it that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got it, got a few. It, got a few. it was a little cold that night. Uh, yeah. 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 Got a few likes on your dids, did you, buddy? Feel we'll your pain. Send it through, mate. We'll judge it for ourselves, actually. Guy, Sharon and Clint podcast. I like it. Now, you may have seen this video today. And no, if you have not seen it. Haven't seen it. You never see anything that I ask you to see. <laughs> yeah, sorry it's about so that. so annoying. Go to our Facebook page right now, facebook.com okay. forward slash edge afternoons, because there is a guy on there that went to get his wisdom teeth taken out. And I love these videos almost as much as I love giraffe fights on YouTube. And he is high on the stuff they put you under with. <laughs> He was convinced that Beyonce was going to be there when he woke up. Yeah. And he's really upset and angry <laughs> that Beyonce wasn't there for him. <laughs> and if you have not seen this video, as I said, go to our Facebook page. But here's just a little bit of it. Where's Beyonce? Beyonce couldn't make it. <laughs> well, she couldn't make it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> it goes on for quite a while. He's hysterically crying That's with so these like, awesome. bandages hanging out his mouth because Beyonce hasn't turned up. That's so gold. It is so good. You've got to Did go watch it. Did someone trick him into thinking that... that is, it's a good idea, though, eh? I to, don't know. To put it into someone's mind where they're not quite fully with it because of dental drugs and stuff like that. To yeah. Maybe um, plant something in their mind. It's good. It's yeah. something for people to do when their friends go to the dentist and they have to pick them up. Totally. Freak them out. No big deal. <laughs> go watch it now. Facebook.com forward slash Edge Afternoons. It's bloody on the internet, isn't it? One of these, uh, these bloody podcast things.